For today's patrol, we are the security at the Davis Mega Mall here in Davis. Now, our main duties are going to be kind of patrolling the parking lot, making sure people aren't loitering, making sure no crimes are going on. If we need to call police or any other emergency services, we're here to do that. We're in a Crown Vic. You can see the livery on it, Group 6 Patrol, which is a security company in the GTA universe. Pretty standard Crown Vic. It's got a light bar on it. Uh, we'll activate that here in a second. The security outfit is part of the EUP. It actually has three lighting stages and they're all amber. So this is just secondary lights, light bar, and then uh, that last one is strobes. So if we need to activate that, we surely can. Interior of the vehicle is pretty much the standard Crown Vic. So this setup really reminds me of, uh, he was popular on YouTube a couple years ago. He, the security guy out of, uh, I think of a mall similar to this in the Atlanta region or somewhere else in Georgia. And uh, he had a similar setup to this. He didn't have a Crown Vic, but he was stationed out inside the mall and he would run into some just crazy scenarios. And speaking of which, the only weapon we have is a taser and that's it so that's the only weapon we have to protect ourselves we we're not permitted to carry a weapon so we've got a taser all right let's go ahead just do a quick ride around here see what we got going on Got a couple of people just hanging out here. That, that's fine. I really don't want people loitering around these entrances, which both of these people are doing. He's smoking, which is fine. It's a smoke-free environment inside. This guy's just on the phone. Yeah, that's probably fine. He's making a phone call. One to step out, probably a little loud. We, what we're really looking for is big groups of loitering. This guy looks like he works here, maybe on a smoke break. Do a quick ride around to the back. Now this brushes up against, uh, not Grove Street, but almost Grove Street. It's only a road or two over, which is known for a lot of gang activity. Occasionally we'll get people hanging out back here. Just make sure nobody's behind this dumpster real quick. All right, this looks secure. All right, these two individuals have been here quite some time. So I'm gonna go ahead and make contact with them. Just tell them no loitering. Hey guys, how you doing? I'm a security guard, Carson. And just run security here for the mega mall um you guys you can't be loitering the owners here they, they want they have a strict no loitering policy so i'm gonna have to go ahead and ask y'all to um you know just move along okay all right and that was a little bit of littering too um all right ma'am go on you two go ahead get out of here all right man i'm hey back off fuck you the fuck up. all right i just had to deploy the taser i'm going to detain Boys, him until i can get police over here the hell you're doing. oh we got somebody filming the incident y'all y'all keep back so i asked him to leave and he wanted to uh elevate it by pushing me so i put out the taser Tased him. What is, why is she crawling on the ground? I'm so confused. <laughs> um, uh, so we've got him. I'm gonna get police on scene. So Assistance to let them required. handle All it. Is oh, she drunk? 
Davis. Delta 21, 10 23, I'm right here, just pulling up on your six. What is going on? Alright, uh, I went ahead and detained him. Screw you guys you. can do your own investigation, but he started to attack me. What is this girl doing? What are you doing? Would you mind getting the fuck out of my way? Come here. Let's get you off the road. Um, I think I'm gonna need to call. What the heck? <laughs> I think I'm gonna need to call the hospital for this girl. I'm actually really concerned about her well-being. She's all in the middle of the road. All right, ma'am. I'm just gonna go ahead. And just hang out with me here. I'm getting an ambulance to come check you out. You're just hanging out in the middle of the road there, going on cars and stuff. I'm concerned for your safety. It's right outside uh, the mall property. So I went ahead and phoned an ambulance 911 so they could come check you out, okay? She was crawling. I don't know what animation that was, but she was crawling on the ground. Obviously, we don't have any powers to search people um we can kind of detain them it's kind of iffy on that but um in terms of actually searching people and arresting them we cannot do that so it looks like she's going to go to the hospital and uh, get checked out just to make sure she is a-okay oh my gosh we've got two people in the parking lot here causing problems Nine one one. I've got two you two uh, cars in my parking lot. I'm security guard here. They're all over the place. LSPD is uh, immediately on scene here. Okay, I'm gonna stay back. Yep, I'll let you guys do your thing. Looks like they're gonna try to take him at gunpoint. A shot fired. Wait for the scene to die down before I walk over there. I'm hearing more gunshots. I just heard suspects dead. Oh my. Oh my goodness. What's going on, guys? They're taking off. Leaving this scene, it appears. Let's see what happened over here. So somebody's arrested right there. It looks like, um,. Police have come to pick her up too. This guy's just chilling. This was a car she was in. Well, of course we'll let police take care of the scene. I'm just walking to, uh, you know, because I'm a nosy security guard, walking to come check it out. Very interesting. So what I'm going to do, because I'm a nice security guard, I'm going to shut these doors so nobody goes in these police cars. Hey, I would hate for someone to just try to um, steal a police car. This one has a gunshot through the front windshield. What a, a crazy scene. So we did our part in notifying the police that we had two people racing through 
this vehicle here actually got um, moved up a bit. Uh, they were trying to ram it. So they were trying to race through the parking lot. I think I see something behind here. Is this a body? What the heck? Oh my gosh, we, we've got a body right here. Um, okay, okay, uh, calm down. Let's get a, uh, let's call the paramedics and uh, we'll try to do some, some type of CPR Medical or something here. And Davis, I don't know if this was from an overdose. I don't know if he was attacked. I don't see blood or anything. Yeah, I'm a security guard, Davis and Mega Mall. Um, I found an individual behind the uh, the back of the mall, and, and he is severe. He's down. He's not moving at all. Um, completely limp. I don't. I don't know what to do. Okay. Uh, I'll try. Should I do CPR? Okay. I'll watch him until the ambulance gets here. Oh my gosh. Hey man, can you hear me? It's going to be okay. My name's Carson. I'm going to try to get you some help, okay? We got the ambulance coming if you can hear me. Hear the ambulance. Oh, yeah, right, right over here. All right, give me something. Yeah, I just found him like this, completely unconscious. Um, I, I really, I didn't feel a pulse or anything. You just walk around the area, and make sure there's. Oh, they're dead. Oh, he's dead. I found a dead body. Of course, I would. Yeah, there's nothing over here. I don't know what the heck caused that. Oh, not again. What do, you, do you have any idea cause of death? All units, code four. Oh, she's saying an injury to the spine from a fist fight? All right. Um, she said they're going to call the coroner, so I'm going to go ahead and let them handle that. Citizens report, vehicles racing and pillbox hill. A little bit of our police chatter coming through. Of course, we will disregard because we are not police. Uh, they said there is a corner en route. Yep, there they are. Yeah, we got a body right here. Wow, pretty unbelievable. So they're going to remove the body. Just another day. Working Group 6 Security Patrol. Appears we have an abandoned car in the parking lot now. Let's go ahead and check this one out. This we might uh, just give a quick call to the insurance company or the towing company to get it removed from the parking lot. Looks like wherever this car has been, it's been involved in a, a heavy accident. Oh man, we got a guy. What is this guy doing? I pulled out that taser. That man ran. You're in the complete the other way. All right, uh, back to what we we're doing. He didn't want to mess with me. Um, yeah, this vehicle has been in some type of accident. Occur it seems, and whoever was driving it appears to have just left it here. Okay. Um, yeah, we'll get we'll get the towing company out here to go ahead remove it. Davis Mega Mall uses a particular towing company for any vehicles that need to be impounded out of the lot. So we'll just wait on that to get here and to uh, remove the car. Hopefully the owner will be notified. Um, I don't know why it's just abandoned here. It's kind of odd. And it's still running too. Very interesting. We thought our friend Bobby with the tow company. Bobby, watch that! Watch that light pole. Oh. 
<laughs> that, that's a new one. Uh, I think Bobby's a little lost. It's hard to... Oh my gosh, what's going on? Somebody's... Somebody's running towards me. Was this a... Was it... What the heck? Are these those guys as friends? Attention all units. Assistance needed. Uh, I'm with Group 6 David Security. Uh, 911, I need some police uh, assistance. I've got um, multiple black males in my parking lot trying to attack me. I'm just trying to avoid the situation by um, rolling in my patrol car or my security car. Can I get some uh, police over here? Oh my gosh, he's catching up. Yeah, the sooner the better. Where did these guys come from? Yeah, over here. Police, police, yeah, he's he's right behind you. Hey, get back. I guess police kind of scared him. All right, that vehicle finally got impounded. It's starting to rain. That's going to conclude it for our security patrol. I hope you guys enjoyed it. As always, I love to hear your feedback down in the comment section below. And I'll catch you guys on the next patrol.